Right, so I think we've finally got something sorted. Uh, I've started off as I always start off, which is going here, going there, going everywhere. The mine's in about 20 different places. I never seem to know what I'm doing. I am the most, I don't know, undecided, indecisive angler out there, I'm sure I am. Um, I'm very impatient, as I'm sure you all know by now. But anyway, we've come to a place that I like. It's a swim called Butcher's Point. It's actually one of my favourite swims on the lake. I uh, haven't been able to fish it for a, a while because of a, a wasp nest that was just here behind me. Uh, that's been destroyed. So I'm back in. I'm happy in here. I like it, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to get the rods out. I'm going to find my spots. I know two spots really well. The third rod, I'm not too sure. I'm going to try and find a new spot for that. So I'm going to jog on and get those done because time, as always, is of the essence. Um, I'm here for three days and nights, uh, but my cameraman here is only here for 24 hours at most, maybe a little bit less. So I'm going to try and work some magic in that time. But more importantly, we have a tandoori chicken that has to go on the cob and that takes two hours to cook. So I can't hang about, let's get it done. Right, here we go, rod one. My favourite spot in one of my favourite swims. But unfortunately, I haven't been out of fish for the last four weeks because it's had a monstrous great wasp's nest in it. And I am hyper allergic to wasps. I'm Annie, anaphylactic, that's me. But they had a the man that destroys them out here the other day. And he sprayed it and they've all gone. Well, I hope they're all gone anyway. So this one I got marked from the bank. So I've cast a marker out. I'm just gonna check, because it's like I say a while since I fished it. See if it's still crunchy. Or if not. Hmm. Crunchy-ish, got a bit of silt on it. a little bit. That's the one. <coughs> right. <coughs> yeah, boilies. We have particles. Put down a decent bed of particle. And full of fish mills over the top. Two different sizes. And a bit of a mixture. Fish mill wafter, a bit of plastic maze. It's got to be about perfect. Rod one.
foot back. Easy to remember. Yeah, thick grey clay that is. Lovely. Same deal applies. The park hills. Some boilies. Park food. Right, for this third rod, I am looking for a feature that I know is here somewhere. But I don't know exactly where, but actually, I think we've gone straight over it. it just come up from 11 to 7 in no time at all. That's got to be it, hasn't it? Six foot nine. I doubt it's anything else bar it, to be honest. Yeah, Christ, that was easy. I have to do this film malarkey more often. It makes me look good. <laughs> same again. I know it's the same on all three, but this really has been working for me recently. It's just a nut mix, which is corn, maize, hemp, <coughs> shaved and chopped peanut and chopped tiger nut. Just a lovely little base to fish over. All different colours, all glowy lovely bits. Smells yum. And it's that time of year, they're starting to eat a little bit more now in the spring. I wouldn't use nowhere near this amount, or even in midsummer, but it's September tomorrow. The magic month. Right, so here we are, we've gambled all on this area. Um, I'm not 100% convinced, to be honest, but I'm the only person up this end of the island and that's got to be a good thing. And it is one, two, three, four guys fishing the other end of the lake. I'm on my own down there. Well, I'm not on my own totally. I've got you, haven't I, Madalena? Coming up, coming in. We've got her, we've got the man behind the camera and we've got a tandoori chicken over there. So everything is as it should be. It's just, have I picked the right end of the lake? We'll find out later, won't we? We'll find out later. So the venue this year is uh, RK Leisure's Island Lake, Kingsmead Island Lake, uh, and I'm here for a personal best. That's the reason I picked this lake for the sort of uh, campaign, if you want to call it that, for the year. It's got a fish in here called Roids, which has done 60 pounds, which is enormous. Um, my PB's been 55, I've had two 55s, the Burfield Common and the Soninai, and it's been quite a long time now, and I thought it was about time I upped it. Uh, so that's my main sort of focus on this lake, is that one big fish. Uh, but there's some other lovely fish in here. Um, there's a beautiful fully scaled that's just done £40 for the first time. 
um, and a few other whackers in here. Um, so yeah, here for a personal best at last. Uh, it's been out once this year. Um, strangely enough, just under my PB. I think it came out of 54.12 or something, but uh, that was just after spawning, so hopefully that'll be a bit bigger now. Um, yeah, been on here since uh, June, I think, when the, the lockdown was lifted. Um, so I missed May, which is one of my favourite months. I think my two favourite months of the year is the one that's starting now, September, and May. May sort of clubbing season a little bit. So missed out on that, but still got that to come next year, unless I've completed by then, which would be nice. Um, yeah, and had a good year. I mean, I've had 29 fish up till now, which is good going. I'm happy with that of all various sizes. There's some lovely sort of linears and, and scaly low, low to mid 20s. Um, I've had a few 30s uh, and I had a beautiful leather, really nice leather at just under 40 pound, a few ounces under 40 pound from this very swim actually. Um, so yeah, the year's going well. I'm enjoying it on here. I love my boat fishing. Um, somebody's shooting at me. Uh, I love my boat fishing. So it's ideal for me really. Big lake, big gravel pit, lots of features, got a boat, can have my dog, um, what's not to like? Morning all. Well, unfortunately, I'm not talking to you over the dorsal fin of a carp this morning because it's been absolutely dead. Um, it's, the weather's changed a little bit. Uh, we had that northerly, it's dropped the temperature. I thought that'd actually get them feeding, but it seems to have had the opposite effect, to be honest. Um, very quiet, no fizzing, no showing. I think I've seen two fish all morning, which is not a lot for here. Um, but I think I know where they might be. I've got this thing in my mind. Um, Cameraman's got a shoot off this morning, but I've still got another two nights. So we're going to get everything done. I'm going to get rid of him, as much as I like him, uh, and get on the move. But before I go, I'm going to uh, show you some of my bait, what I use, why I use it, and how I use it. So, my particle mix in this rather large bucket here. Oh. I've got a mix that I've got put together for me the way I like it. Which is all good, isn't it? Um, and we have in here all sorts of lovely goodies um, based around the hemp, because hemp's just the best, isn't it? Um, but I've also got a lot of shaved peanut in here. I've also got a dog walking straight into camera. Hello, Madalena. Off you go. Go on. Off, off, off. Good girl. Um, yeah, I've also got a lot of shaved peanut bits in here, which gives it like when you get hemp on the bottom it's got a lot of sparkle in it with the little white kernels with these just like bigger sparkle if you like um, and that's mixed in with a lot of maize um, so it's very visual the mix but it's also got chopped and whole tigers in there and like i say the maize so it's got a good food content as well and i use that pretty much all the time as a base to fish over um, just with some fish meal boilies over the top which i have in two different sizes and I also break some up as well. Um, so boilies over the top of a nice mixed particle mix with a good food content. So that's, that's my base, that's my food over the top um, and I'll usually fish um, a wafter, 14, 15 mil wafter over the top of that, quite often with one piece of plastic maize. So it sort of looks very, very similar to what's on the bottom. So my hook bait will look a bit like that, over the top, perfect. <laughs>
Right, well, that's the first of uh, three potential bite times gone past, well, without a bite, really. Um, but the cameraman's got to go, so I'm going to ferry him back across to the car park, uh, come back here, load it all up, and set off for the day, see what I can find, and, you know, who knows what might happen. Like I say, I've got another 48 hours ahead of me. Um, if anything decent does happen and I catch any fish, then I'll film them myself, and you can pick them up on one of my vlogs, which I put out on YouTube. Um, and if you are interested in any sort of further content, I've also got a Patreon channel. It's like a monthly pay-as-you-go channel. Um, and I'm working my way through my books. I'm currently on my second book, Flick of the Tail. There's loads of stories on there. You can find the links on my Facebook or YouTube or whatever. But for now, that's the end of this piece. Um, but I'm sure there'll be more to come in the future. So keep your eyes open. I'll see you next time. Ta-da.